let us learn about the fundamental counting principle. Fundamental counting principle helps us to know the sample space or the total possibilities of a certain condition. Now here we have a video game which will let you decorate a bedroom. Here there are so many categories, isn't it? There are six categories here and each category has different number of choices. Now what are the total possible choices that you can do, like a unique choice? Say one different type of paint color, one different type of comforter set and like this everything uniquely. How many times can you do? How many different bedrooms can you decorate? So this is easily done by multiplying all of them. When you multiply them, you get the total possible outcomes. That is the fundamental counting principle. Now here all you need is a calculator and multiply. Here in this question, a cafeteria meal at Angela's work includes one choice for each category. The same thing, there are different choices, right? All you need to do is multiply them up and you will get the answers. On a website showcasing agro patio plants, there are four types of stones, three types of edging, five dining sets and six grills. Kamar plans to order one item for each category. How many different patio sets can Kamar order? All he needs to do is multiply all the different types or different categories. That is four times three times five times six. That would be the answer. The drama club held tryouts for six roles in a one act play. Five people audition for the lead female, three for the lead male, eight for, for the best friend, four for the mother, two for the father and three for the humorous aunt. How many different casts can be created from those audition? Again, now don't multiply the six roles. Just start from multiplying the number of people. Yet this is the number of roles, categories that are there. You need to multiply five, three, eight and so on. So it's five, three, eight. 4, 2 and 3. Here we have a spinner which is used in a board game. If the spinner is spun 4 times, how many different possible outcomes are there? Now, what are the total possibilities when you spin 1 time this particular spinner? There are 6 outcomes, right? So it's 6. Now again you're going to spin it. It's going to be 6. Again spinning. 4th time also it's 6. So 6 to the power 4 would be the answer. Just multiply this uh, 6 four times you'll get the answer that's 1296 in a city basketball league there must be a minimum of 14 players on a team's roster one 14 player team has three centers four power forwards two small forwards three shouting shooting guards and the rest of the players are point guards how many different five player teams are possible in one player if one player is selected from each position now you need to understand here they have told it's 14 player team. So don't go to multiply 14. We need to know how many different type, uh, you know, different category players are possible. The total possible outcome. Now here this, no, don't multiply. There are total 14. So there are three centers, four power forwards, two small forwards, three shooting guards. And the rest of the players are point guards. Now here they have not told all the numbers. So this is out of 14, we know 3 minus 4 minus 2 minus 3. So we have 7, 10, 12. 14 minus 12 would be 2. So there are two people remaining, right? Rest of the players, they are the point guards. So you have to just multiply all, the, all these numbers. And this 2 is found out by subtracting the given numbers from the total number of players, that's 14. So this is how we do it and just by multiplying that you will get the answer. Angelica is comparing vacation prices in Boulder, Colorado. This is the same place. Boulder is in Colorado itself and Sarasota in Florida. In Boulder she can choose a one week or two week stay in a one or two bedroom suite. In Sarasota she can choose one, two, three week stay or two or three bedroom suite. So on the beach or not, even there's option of beach or not. So how many outcomes are there in Boulder? Let's do Boulder first. Boulder is having two week choices for the week stay and two bedrooms. It's just four. That's it. What about Sarosata? Here there is three week options. There is two bedroom options and you can either choose a beach or not. So there is there are two options over there as well. Three times two times two. So this is four. What about this 6 times 2 is 12? 
So the total possible uh, outcomes for the booking the vacation is total 16. 12 plus 4 is 16. So that would be the method to solve this. Boulder do it separately. Sarasota also do it separately. That's 12. And then add them up. You will get the total possible outcomes. Morris packs suits, shirts and ties that can be mixed and matched. Uses packing lists to draw a tree diagram to represent the sample space for possible suit combination using one article from each category. Now let's look at this. The suits, number of suits. Now this is not to be added. It's grey, black and khaki. Here shirts, white and light blue, ties, striped or optional. That means you can have a tie or no tie. There are two over here, white and light blue, I'll write blue, grey, black and khaki. So we have to put the colors first, uh, the suits first, G, B and K. Then we have two options each ways that is wb wb and wb over here there is again two options tie no tie two options tie no tie tie no tie so it's again no tie again we have tie no tie and lastly tie and no tie now this is a rough tree diagram over here if you see GWT is one possible outcome. Then there is GWNT, GW, GBT, GBNT. So these are all the possibilities, okay? So they have asked you to find all the possible outcomes. So you can see uh, with the suit, there is three. Shirt, there is again two for each category. And then tie also, there's two categories for each. And then you write, up, write out all the possible outcomes. Here we have that Thala wears a school uniform that consists of a skirt or pants, a white shirt, a blue jacket or sweater, white socks and black shoes. She has three pairs of pants, three skirts, six white shirts, two jackets, two sweaters, six pairs of white socks and three pairs of black shoes. Now here if you look carefully, they have told skirt or pant, then white shirt, jacket or sweater. This is important because we cannot multiply the number of skirts and pants like this. No, this would be wrong because it's or, clearly mentioned or. So you need to add them up. So basically or is always uh, multiple adding and is multiplication, right? So what you can do over here is skirts or pants, take them as one category. Pants is three, skirts is also three. Multiply it with number of shirts. Then multiply it with jackets or sweaters so it is two plus two then multiply it with white socks and and black socks they have told so multiply it with three so these are all uh, the possibilities here they have not told white socks or black socks they have told and so you need to multiply see over here only the skirt and the sweater and jacket skirt and pants sweater and jackets are to be added everything else say it'll be three plus three six times six times 4 times 6 times 3. That is the possibility. Here it's the same thing. They have given the details about a sandwich shop. And what you need to do is find all the total possibilities, choices they can have from bread, meat and cheeses. It will be 3, 4 and uh, 5 over here. So that would be the answer. 3 times 4 times 5. Here we have another interesting problem. List 6 different expressions that could be used to evaluate the area of the composite figure now here you need to find the area area can be found out by this adding up all these different polygons right this is a rectangle over here another rectangle like that you can find it by adding up all the polygons isn't it so you need to find different ways six different ways so one would be like this you can do many i'll just show you how you can consider this as a polygon this separately that's one possibility or you can consider that one like this uh, you can chop this up or you can make this you know like this various ways it's just uh, see this is one possibility over here there's another another see all these are different possibilities i'm not exactly sure how this will be asked in the mcq but anyways these are the possibilities to know and these are the different ways. You can just add them up by multiplying the uh, polygons. Finding the area of each polygon and summing them up. That would be the area of this figure. 
Here we have another problem about license plates. One state requires license plates to consist of three letters followed by three numbers. The letter O and the number zero may not be used. But any other combination of letters or numbers is allowed. How many different license plates can be created? Okay. Now, how many letters are they? They want three letters and three numbers. So total letters in English language is 26. But they cannot use O. So A to Z, but O is excluded. So minus one, it's 25 here. Same thing with numbers, zero to nine. There are 10 numbers. But here we have to exclude zero. So it'll be 10 numbers in total. 10 minus one will be nine. Why it's 10 numbers? Because zero is also included. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, right? It'll be 10 minus one. There are three letters, so it'll be 25 times 25 times again 25, three times 25. And what about the numbers? It's nine. So multiply. These are all the possibilities for letters. And then there is possibility nine times nine times nine for the letters. So if you multiply that, you'll get the possible answers. So there can be 11 point, nearly 11.4 million different license plates possible from this combination. Jack has been offered a number of internships that could occur in three different months, in three different departments, and for three different companies. Jack is only available to complete his internship in July. How many different outcomes are there for his internship? So now here, the thing is three different months, it is possible, but he is only there for one month. So this will not be used. Three won't be used. It's one multiplied by four times three. So we have to just multiply all the possibilities. One times three. 4 times 3 or 1 times 3. See, it's July only. That's Therefore, month becomes only 1. Departments are 3. Sorry, the companies are 3. Departments are 4. The answer is 12. And that's the end of this topic. Please try to solve each of these questions by yourselves. And if you have any doubts, please post them in the comments.